guys um about pretty much how i went to church for mother's day and towards the end it went definitely like so love so like not needed so i don't even know how it got brought up why i got brought up and yeah let's get into it so you know how church service comes to and then so the pastor says um so before that could even take place before he even brought that up um his wife started saying homophobic things and it caught my ear because i was already actually listening you know how when you're younger you might be on your phone and stuff like that and not really paying attention to church so you're not really hearing the word of god um yeah so i was listening there was some things that were said that i agree upon um before she said anything homophobic now that is not what i agreed upon like it it was almost like it slipped out but it was like meant to come out you know you know what i'm saying so it caught me off guard i'm like excuse me man what i was looking so confused and thank god i wasn't all the way in the front because i would have just been looking at her the whole time like are you serious right now? Um, pretty much what she had mentioned is a man wanting to be a woman and a woman wanting to be a man. Then a few minutes later pass by and the pastor comes up to the front trying to preach about dreams that other members of the church were having and what they mean and how he interpreted it and how she, his first lady how his wife interpreted it as well okay i understand that a few seconds go by um they bring up weed and alcohol which is understandable and then they bring up the fact that people wanting to be wanting to be bisexual wanting to be a lesbian wanting to be gay like his everything is a choice so that was pretty much preaching of how we we as in the youth don't need to be doing that we don't nobody should be around us that's doing that nobody should force us into doing that and it's not okay with god and get right with god before y'all drop like flies pretty much like we're just gonna die because we're gay and i did not feel appreciated guys so when i tell you my angels when i tell you they was preaching about this for like you might as well say 30 minutes straight they told the youth to stand up 20 and younger stand up in the church so we proceeded to stand up and they started preaching on the fact of us joining evil spirits that we shouldn't be joining. Which the evil spirits was gangs. Very understandable about that. The evil spirits was wanting to be with the same sex. And you can't get nowhere in life like that. As, as he say, um, you can never be truly happy like that, as he say. And he told us, if anything, we need to get rid, rid of that spirit. And we need to talk to our parents about if we're depressed, if we're having those types of feelings. He was like, y'all parents not going to put y'all out? Just let it be known. And if they can't handle it, they need to find somebody that can handle it. Excuse, excuse me, sir. What? Say that again. People get put out every day for coming out. People get put out every day for making that choice of... Making that choice... Of coming out to their parents about something they feel so 
wholeheartedly about another being. A human being at the end of the day of who they love or like, they get put out every day. They may get raped by somebody. Shoot, the parent might try to kill them. Honestly, let's truth be told. It's just so much stuff I want to say in this one video. But I'm going to make another video. Like, bruh, the whole youth is just standing there in shock. Like, it's like, what do we do? What do we do? And I finally set my butt down somewhere. And I'm just like, I hear you, but I don't hear you. You know, I don't agree with you at all. I don't agree with you one bit. <laughs> my little few dollars back <laughs> thank you and I would have walked out I was there to support one of my peoples that go to church and there's more of them in there and everybody was like yes yes they got it in cartoons they they forcing it upon our children and now nah, it was just going in even the younger guy was like yeah I don't want to see y'all be bi. I don't want to see y'all be lesbians. I want y'all to make it in life. Da, 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 da. Stop that lesbian stuff. ASAP. And I love y'all. That's love? Sorry, that's love? And to remind you, the sad part about it all is... The sad part about it, y'all, is that women are going missing every single day someone i'm friends with are posting about people that are missing in their areas there are people even going missing in my area or being found in it's it's limbs and or not ever being found just never being found um We as women are about to get our rights taken away if we want a child or not. Kids are starting to get sprung out on drugs really, really badly. And coping with it by drinking and smoking. Y'all, it's just so much stuff he could have brought up 
and preach so passionately about. But that's what he wanted to preach so passionately about. Babe, if you really want to know the truth, I remember coming to this church some years back. And it was rumors about you cheating on your wife. So while you were worried about somebody being bi or lesbian or pansexual or trans, worry about what you did, what you committed. Yeah, and you want to be so godly, but you want to judge others. How does that make you godly? How? Oh, you think you're so perfect because you got a big house? You don't really have to be around neighbors like that? You got it like that? Oh. Picture perfect family, right? Mm. Yeah. And one of the dreams that one of the family, uh, I meant one of the church members have about someone possibly exposing you. Yeah. I actually might be that someone now. Because you really took it there you really made people feel uninvited to your church and i won't be coming back to your church service no more i hope you reap what you sow and have a blessed day